वेलकम टू ऑल डियर लिशनर किंगडम ऑफ गॉड इज अ वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक सो वी वुड लाइक टू इन्वाइट यू टू ज्वाइन आवर डिवोशन दिस ईयर द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द किंगडम ऑफ गॉड इज रिपीटेड थ्रू आउट द बाइबल दिस डिवोशन वॉज रिटर्न बाय डॉक्टर पीटर कमलेश्वर प्रसाद सिंह वी वुड बी ऑनर इफ दिस मैसेज वॉज अ ब्लेसिंग फॉर यू Meditation on the Kingdom of God Day 327 Woe to you scribes and Pharisees hypocrites for you devour windows houses and for a pretense make long prayers therefore you will never receive greater condemnation Matthew chapter 23 verse 14 The second condemnation for the scribes and the Pharisees was pronounced for their oppression of the windows and offering long prayers in a public place just for the people to see and admire their piety. The hardness of their hearts had not only brought them far from God's presence but also had made them insensitive to the social justice their inner being had reached the line of no return there was no more room for them to repent and turn back hence the condemnation jesus had waited 3 years for them to receive god's grace be broken at heart but it was not possible jesus is coming was for every sinner to be born again it is surprising to note that in the beatitudes jesus pronounced eight blessings and each one was dealing with man's character problems due to sin as john had said the eight blessings were acting like an axe with man's basic problems starting with pride going on to anger, bitterness, moral impurity, guilt, apathy, anxiety, and fear. But waiting for 3 years of his ministry, Jesus found no change in both the scribes and the Pharisees' attitudes. Hence this condemnation. It is also surprising to find There are exactly 8 condemnations pronounced for the scribes and Pharisees. And this is not one person talking to another, but the savior of the world is condemning a group of people who knowingly made a choice to reject the ways God provided for their own salvation. It was written for us because the hypocrisy is related to the flesh. We have a God and a savior who lives and sees in secret. The body we have is a flesh and blood with sinful nature dwelling within. Flesh desires what is opposite of the Holy Spirit's desires. It is always possible to become off guard and fall in the trap of flesh. Hypocrisy is easy. Discipleship is costly and painful. But one is pleasing the flesh, the other is pleasing the Lord. One brings condemnation and the other brings blessing. To be continued. Thank you for listening to this devotion. Let's meditate and apply it in your life according to your conviction. Please give any suggestion and comment on this. God bless you. Have a good day.